Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the gold market. So in the weekend we mostly were considering the level around 2000 and 2013 it's because it should be some border between the retracement feature of the gold market or upper continuation because depending on what market shows around this resistance depends on should we treat this action as a continuation of the trend in general moving higher back to the top and maybe challenging of this top or it will be treated as a retracement here and we still get this a b c top d pattern of the big deep retracement on the fundamental background we discussed that uh, downside retracement a bit deep retracement in the nearest few months seems more probable by many reasons we talked about this for a few weeks already and i think that makes no sense to repeat this uh, again but since market recently shows the well a bit not quite curious of course but some interesting performance when gold market rises together with the rising of the interest rates it might be the reason of that is not because of the big demand or big supply or sell-off on the United States treasuries but because of some structural problems in the value of the currency United States currency is just because you could see that the dollar index is rising that just take a look at it so we have the performance uh, on the dollar index here and by the way yesterday it's again was to the upside we see the performance of the interest rates which has hit 2.9 area approximately in, the, in april and the last week as well but at the same time we see the rising of the gold which might happen only in the situation where some uh, external tension stands some, something like geopolitical tensions or if it's uh, it is real inflationary impact it makes impact as on interest rates and on the cost of the commodities so in this case you also could see some rising demand for the gold whatever it will be uh, here's market stands an important moment that should bring us clarity and it seems that gold decides not to postpone any action to the 2000 area and you can see using the thin market when Europe were celebrating Easter Monday you could see that yesterday gold made an attempt to challenge the 2000 area so here market hits this level but since today we see some uh, sideways action on the interest rates and on the dollar index as well i think that and second moment is you can see that xop has not been reached yet with this upward performance personally i'm not excluding the way of the three drive patterns so if we take a look at the hourly chart here was very slow and lazy performance and we warned you that before taking the position trying to get the clear pattern so maybe hand and shoulders or something of that sort as you can see on monday market has keep going higher now retracement after this thing all also is done and uh potentially since the third drive perfectly agrees with the xop targets you take a look 2013 third drive and here is as well xop 2011 so we could get continuation and completion of this 1618 free drive this is the 1618 pattern it's because second stands at the 1618 extension and we have to use 1618 to come to get the third uh, drive as well so whatever uh, will happen this is definitely the pattern that we need to keep an eye on also let's take a look the bullish divergence is growing right here with these two drives this is very typical for the free drive pattern but anyway if you're trying to take the scalp short position you do not need to anticipate you just need to keep eyes open and see what will happen if market will fall for the free drive then this is the point where you could consider taking the short position scalp short not for a big downside action um, especially if we will not get some really very fast action so be relatively gradual this is the point that you could keep an eye on if market fails to do this when the upper continuations keep dropping lower then you could consider means that different patches might be formed so you could consider for example something like the hand and shoulders here market keep 
keep dropping and hit this support area. This is two patches that mostly you could keep watch, watching for if you intend to go short with this scalp setup. Um, for those of you who would like to buy, you also do not need to invent something. It's just wait for a pullback, wait for support areas uh, that suitable for taking the long position. So we already have uh, talked about this. So that's actually what we have on the gold. Let's see what will happen. Um, and uh, so make the decision depending on what will happen around the thousand area as well. So whether the market will be able to break it up or it will show us the downside reversal there. So depending on that, it will be different uh, scenario for taking the long position for investing in gold.